EFF is one of the parties that are rejecting the statement that was made by the Johannesburg Mayor Dada Morero, who suggested that the JMPD should consider hiring for foreigners in order to bridge the language barrier. Dumela Kazi, welcome back to the cafe. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. If you are really, really new and you see this channel for the first time please do make sure you don't leave without subscribing and also i would like to hear from you what are your views at the end of this video and also please do like this video if you enjoyed it without wasting any more time let's get into this video <music> Having said that, EFF is rejecting the suggestion that Dada Morero had with that video that is still trending on social media. So they did go and actually release a statement about this. So we need to check out the statement before we can talk about how EFF is flip-flopping or how EFF is just not we don't understand them. We don't know. We cannot find them. Like, you know what? Let's go through this statement. So the statement is, the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, categorically reject the re reactionary and anti-worker proposal by the Jobeck ANC chairperson and mayor of Johannesburg, Dada Morero, to enlist documented foreign nationals as Johannesburg Metropolitan Police Department, which is JMPD officers under the pretext of addressing language barriers. This proposal is not only a capitulation to neoliberal ideology, but also a betrayal of working class, particularly those unemployed youth of South Africa who continue to be re relegated to margins of economic and social life. In the words of Karl Marx and Fe Fe Frederick Engels, Engels in the Communist Manifesto, the history of all hetero existing society is the history of class struggles. The proposal represents nothing less than an in intensification of class struggle against the working people of South Africa. It is an effort it is an affront to the sovereignty of our nation, a sovereignty earned through blood and sacrifice of our people in the fight against colonialism and apartheid. To suggest that foreign nationals should be employed in our law enforcement agencies is to disregard the revolutionary principle that the state as an instrument of class rule must serve the interest of of his people first and foremost. Hmm. <laughs> That's EFF for you. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's continue. The desire with within the ANC is glar is glaringly evident as seen in the confusion and lack of direction that plagues the party. Gauteng Premier Panyaza Lisufi public endorsement of Mayor Morero's view is testament to the internal contradictions and disunity that have become synonymous with the ANC's government. This disorganization not only undermines the, cre the credibility of the government, but also has dire consequences for policy implementation. As a conflicting position, as conflicting positions within the ruling party leave the people of South Africa without coherent leadership. Mm, tata win. The latest data from Stats SA. Wow. EFF, you know the Stats. You know the Stats. You're even cool the stats yeah the latest data from s from states sa reveals an unemployment rate of 32.9 percent within youth unemployment soaring to 45.45.5 percent these figures reflect a systemic failure to ha harness the potential of millions of south africans who are eager and willing to contribute to the pro prosperity and security of 
our nation. Instead of outsourcing jobs to foreign nationals, which only serve to deepen the crisis of unemployment and social in inequality, the state must invest in the development of its citizens. As Lenin observed, a revolution, a revolution is impossible without a revolutionary situation. The dire unemployment crisis we face today, we face today, represents or presents rather such a situation, a call to arms for state to create real sustainable employment for our people. The EFF remains steadfast in our commitment to achieving economic freedom in our lifetime. We will not stand by while we will not stand by while the interest of the working Class, working class are sacrificed on the altar of ne neoliberals' expediency. We demand the city of Johannesburg Im immediately abandon this re reactionary proposal and focus on employer empowering South Africans, particularly the youth, to serve their communities with pride and dedication. This is not merely a demand for jobs. It is a demand for dignity, sovereignty, and the fulfillment of the revolutionary promises made to our people. In the spirit of Maxim Leninism and guided by the principle laid out in the EFF founding manifesto, we call upon all South Africans to reject this proposal and to stand united in the struggle for economic justice. The disunity and confusion within ANC should not be be allowed to derail the aspiration of our people. We will not allow the exploitation of foreign nationals as a tool to undermine the legitimacy aspiration of our people. Wow, that's rich coming from you guys. The EFF will continue to hold those in our those who are in power rather accountable and will fight relentlessly to ensure that the revolutionary gains of our struggles are not eroded by the forces of reactionary reaction and opportunism. Economic freedom in our lifetime is not a slogan. It is a commitment to the realization of a society where the wealth of land of the land is shared among those who work it. We urge all South Africans to join us in this struggle and to, de to defend the dignity and sovereignty of our nation. I don't know how we join you guys if you flip-flopping, but anyway. Someone said to me, if you want us to vote for you in 2024, you must abandon uh, this thing of uh, foreigners. Uh, now I'm prepared to go home. Now I'm fine. I'm ne I will never take a platform and denounce Africans. I'll never do it. If it means votes are going, let them go. Now I'm prepared to go home. But to take a platform and please white minority by pointing a finger at my other fellow black brothers, I'm not going to do that. When I see a Nigerian or a Zimbabwean or a Congolese or Ghanaian, I see myself. EFF can commission uh, internal research to see to what extent is this thing hurting the EFF. But I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to take a platform and say foreigners must go home. I would rather not be a president of South Africa. I'll be a president of my children at home. We'll practice cabinet there. Ah, no, I don't want. I must go and, and, and tell these hungry Zimbabweans to live here. And when I, leave, and I tell them to live, I send them to where? To die. To die. I would rather die with them than to allow them to die alone. If this thing has cost us municipalities and the people who say I must resign, I will resign. So my people, let's get this straight. First of all, EFF is that party that said the foreigners should find creative ways to enter South Africa, right? And then they came and explained that they were saying that because of COVID. Other people were stuck in those um, neighboring countries that were working here in South Africa. So they had to find creative ways to come into the country.
country because the country was on lockdown. So that's what they were saying. And also the same EFF is saying when people are saying, no, we don't want um, foreigners taking jobs in South Africa. or We don't want foreigners to be in South Africa illegally and stuff like that. The same EFF is saying that they are xenophobic. They are little kids. They know nothing and all of those things. But my question here is, if you say the foreigners should come into South Africa illegally or legally or whatever, illegal, legally, I mean, they should be in South Africa. The South, South Africa is not an island it's, and it's not a forbidden island. So everyone can come in South Africa, but legally, and that's what a lot of people are fighting for. You must come into the country legally and you must obtain that working visa legally. And we must have the, 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 the field where it, those fields are only occupied by South African. And we must have um, a way to control the um, the working visas in South Africa because you cannot have a working visa to just come and work at a restaurant. That that is not right unless unless you came to South Africa because you were running away from the war and all of those things. That is understandable, and we know that there are countries in, in the African continent that are experiencing war. They are experiencing. Um, all sorts of things. And for example, the, the people who are running away from the countries because they are homosexuals. And we all know that in South Africa, homosexuality is legal. But in other parts of the, 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 the continent, that is illegal. So you, we will have people who are asylum seekers because of those things. And those people, obviously, they need to work in South Africa because they are asylum seekers. They cannot just come into South Africa and do nothing afterwards, waiting for the country to legalize certain things that they ran away from, right? So we understand that one. But when EFF is talking, yes, they do have points. I mean, the, the whole rejection um, statement, it is tangible. It is understandable. But the fact that it comes from the EFF, the same EFF that is regarding South Africans as those people who are actually xenophobic, Afrophobic, people who doesn't like um, revolution, people who, do, who doesn't like African other African people. Um, that is the EFF. EFF is constantly insulting South Africans. That's the reason why they are now the fourth largest party after they were a third largest party. But I'm not saying that right now. I'm also flip-flopping. Their statement is very tangible, but the fact that it comes from the EFF is just aching me. Like, dude, listen to me. Like, where are you guys standing? Where do you think this foreign national will work in South Africa if they come in numbers illegally, legally, whatever, um, with, with fraudulent um, documents, where do you think they will work? If you don't want them to go and work for the um, for the Department of Metropolis in Johannesburg, where do you want them to work? Where? Special skill. Which special skill? As domestic workers, as exploited farm workers, as, 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 as exploited domestic workers, gardeners, do you want them to work those jobs only? Those Some of those people are educated enough to be able to work at the Johannesburg Metropolitan Police. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they should work there, but I just need to understand the logic behind the EFF. The EFF is conf confusing the hell out of a lot of people, <laughs> including me. Like, where are you guys standing? Like, you only... I said one time, I was talking to my friend who is a diehard fan of EFF. I said to this person, you guys, I need to understand where you guys stand because I feel like you guys, which is the EFF, you are very into what is trending and whatever is trending, if that trend says we agree with certain thing, the EFF will come with their statement and say we disagree with, with a certain thing. They just here to just disagree and disagree. That's It feels like the, the EFF was formed to just cause chaos. But then that time has come to an end because now the the chaos is no longer going to be chaoting. Chao chaoting is no longer going to be chaos because now they are now the fourth largest party. And then they were beaten by a party that was just formed less than a year ago. So things are not looking good at this point of time. And I feel like things are going to go bad for this party because this party, I feel like we don't know where it's stands. I feel like we don't know what what do they actually stand for. They are just people who are here to cause havoc in parliament, out of parliament, on social media, everywhere. And I feel like 
it is the leader. And I, I, I don't feel like the other people who are within the EFF are agreeing with everything that Malema is saying, but they're not going to say anything. And li I like the fact that Floyd decided to jump ship, even though we, I think Floyd should be really investigated by the SIU for VBS. They, he should really go behind bars, including the EFF member, including the EFF people, if they are found guilty of some corruption within the VBS. But we're not going to talk about that because, you know, when the EFF people get hold of this video, I'm going to be dragged, honey. I'm going to go to Twitter and get dragged there. And I'm not I'm, I'm no longer on Twitter and I don't want to be dragged on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. Please let me know what you think about this whole thing on the comment section. I will see you on my next upload. Please do subscribe. Make sure that you like this video, guys. I'm going to say that all the time. And now let me change something. Let me say something new. Make sure that you watch the ads because they are so important um, uh, to grow this channel. As you can hear now, the, the actual um, audio is a bit different. So if you keep on watching those ads, a lot of things might change because I will get more um, of the studio your things that I need to add in my studio and I will be able to also hold some interviews with prominent people. Continue watching the ads. Continue watching. Have a fantastic one. Peace out.